One part is dedicated for Italy, for Italian robots. Uh, so uh, uh, there are two Italian robots, one uh, in front of this flag. It, it, it is a static demo, but the dynamic demo will be realized by this, uh, this, this, this robot. Uh, it will be such a scenario that we, the, the, the maneuvering of this robot on this parking site will be, will be shown to robots. Uh, so the, uh, some about this uh, uh, demonstration uh, will be done uh, by, uh, by uh, my, my colleague Arkadiusz Rubiec from, from Institute of Machines Design Military University of Technology. There are two robots. It, just after this uh, second part of our, our our demo, there will be the third third uh, realized by uh, my colleagues from Industrial Institute Institute for Automation and Measurement from Warsaw. <laughs> On the ground station it's possible uh, to see the video coming from the front camera, that is the navigation camera. The robot uh, in total uh, has uh, four cameras. One uh, is for, uh, uh, for the arm, for the weapon. The other is for navigation. Uh, there is uh, another camera with uh, IR and the rear camera. The robot can reach uh, 15 kilometers uh, per hour of uh, speed with the firing camera the robot uh, is uh, looking uh, the target With the ground station, uh, it's very easy to switch from a camera to another. So the premise of this robot was to uh, cre create a highly mobile platform for ID EOD missions. And for that purpose, this show particularly cannot showcase these functionalities because it's nothing more than a parking lot so sorry for that uh, but it's equipped with two working tools first is the loader which can lift up to one and a half ton and the second one is the multiple purpose manipulator uh, which can lift up to about 300 kilos on the maximum extent. So that's three meters uh, uh, from the main axis of the vehicle.
Uh, this one was designed to be mainly a support vehicle for the uh, land troops to carry their loads while they have to uh, carry out minimal weight on their own consisting mostly of ammo and guns. The version you see here uh, was designed for the EDA project which uh, was uh, mainly focused on housing uh, electronics for mobile electronic warfare to disrupt ED and ID uh, firing signals, to detect them, localize them and disrupt. So basically, uh, each and every part of the vehicle was used uh, to house uh, detectors, amplifiers and jammers. That's why it has so many antennas. The traveling speeds of Dromada is up to 20 kilometers, just as Marex is. Their main focus was to operate uh, for at least eight hours, so that's the minimum which we were uh, aiming at. This, this version here is also equipped with the multiple purpose manipulator for uh, detecting IDODs and, if possible, uh, pulling them out and see what you're doing. Now normally I would show you how it digs, but I wasn't allowed to destroy this, uh, this pavement here, so sorry. But basically, uh, it's been tested in Austria and it worked pretty well. Here today, uh, uh, an action simulated action uh, to show you the performance of uh, three of our robots that we have brought. The one that is conducting the inspection of the car uh, is Piab Griff. The robot is 38 kilograms on weight. Uh, it can be teleoperated from about one kilometer. The robot is equipped with four cameras. TRM, tactical throwable robot, is getting to the car to inspect its underneath, check if there is no other devices there. The other operator get, gets to the car to help the first robot opening the trunk. It is important to note that two robots working together may do greater things than one robot only. Can help himself looking from one of four cameras installed on the robot. He's taking out the IED and taking it to the safe place. I know, and we are going to conduct a shot towards the IED. Just to ensure there won't be water splashing from the, the, from the disruptor, uh, as it should be in normal conditions, but there is a, 
uh, FA cartridge. 